Hey, 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 what's up with everybody? Your boy here, Kali Muscle. Pull this bike closer. How y'all doing today? Yeah, so I want to touch on this issue because a lot of uh, misconceptions and a lot of talk from the side of people next in the fitness industry. And I want to say here that, you know, a lot of y'all ask me, who do you like? What you think of this person, that person, that person, this person, like Webby, you know? And I like everybody. Everybody in this fitness industry is doing something positive or trying to do something positive. That's the elite in the industry. Not, I'm not talking about these YouTube uh, wannabe newscasters that don't even, nobody even talk to these people personally. They just go it off a story or a person Facebook, IG post. People could be lying. You know, I must say, I troll people sometimes. And people will run with the story on YouTube or whatever just to get views. That's all they do it. Because nothing they're speaking of is factual. If you don't hear for two individuals they self with, <laughs> with social media, how can you believe it? If you don't sit down and talk to a person and get it out the horse's mouth, you can't. So I'm just here to say I like everybody, man. Of course, everybody has their differences or different ideologies, but that's fine. That's what life is about. That's what makes life unique. Uh, you have bodybuilders. You have strong men. You have people that love to deadlift, people that love to squat ass to grass. Who cares? It's all about staying active, staying positive. I mean, people making these, they, they don't like a person because their biceps are this size, the quads are this size, they don't go ass to grass, they bench don't hit the chest. When you think about it, it's stupid because fitness is life. And I say this, it don't matter what you do, the overall objective is to stay healthy and stay positive, of course, what I'm trying to reiterate to y'all. And of course, you see me do my videos, I rate talking crap, but there's a, there's a, method to my madness. I do that because I'm showing people that get bullied. Don't get bullied. You can fight back. And so when I speak to trolls, haters, or whatever, that's motivating people that y'all would never know. I could send you the emails and tell you how certain videos encourage people to do uh, certain things, to not care what people think about them being buff. You know what I mean? Because trolls and I... You know, this week was touching for me when I found out the 12-year-old girl died from, uh, she live-streamed her death because of trolls coming on her comment section, bullied her and talking crap to her 12-year-old pretty girl, man, killed herself on live stream. And so, you know, the fitness world, man, we got a lot of top influencers and, you know, a lot of us try to appear perfect and whatnot. But it's time to bring positivity because we have the power and the influence to change the world. You know, and like I say, uh, it's bigger than just big muscles and who can lift the most weight. And we have positive influence. Per you got to think, as a personal trainer dealing with, say, 20 clients or how many ever clients a week, whatever that trainer tell their client, just imagine if they say they don't like somebody or they do like somebody, that client is going to do the same. And then it trickles down to their family. So this is big, man. You know, at first I got on YouTube for fun, uh, talking crap. I did my first video, 45 pull-ups. And from there I read the comments, seen all the negativity, so I just fed it to it. So it was just fun and a way for me to just... Uh, uh, just keep excelling in fitness and proving people wrong. But now, it's big, man. It's a lot of influence. We like musicians, you know, to say, say certain stuff in their music and to influence the young. And so I'm becoming conscious, but I'm also going to keep being me because Kali Muscle has always been authentic. Um, uh, you know, you'll never, people come on and ask me about illegal, illegal drugs and all that. I will never 
promote drugs or illegal activity to children, to kids. That's what's mostly on YouTube. I will not partake in that. So however you youngsters uh, think, whatever, it don't matter. This is about fitness, staying positive. It don't matter, you know, shouldn't matter what another man does with his body or with himself. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm trying to get out of you guys. You know, that's why I say kill the tap pile boys or dial later because those people bring too much negativity and it seeps into other individuals. And I, you know, to all the fitness influencers, YouTubers, personal trainers, I challenge you to stay positive. You know what I mean? Because if you stay positive, then the people that follow you stay positive. You know, uh, you shouldn't have to put somebody's name in a title to get views and talk bad about this individual because you have different ideologies. Like I say, I like everybody. It's not one person. I come from a, let, let me just say this, and then I'm going to end this video before it get too low, be ratty and carrying on. But it's knowledge and wisdom that God had me do this video today. And the universe had me do this video because not many people are stepping up and speaking up. You know, everybody want drama and chaos, but it's big, man. It's fit, fitness is life. Everybody in the world want to be in shape and fit and healthy and live long as possible. So fitness is life. So don't get caught up in all the drama, all the chaos, because at the end of the day, it means nothing. You know, the whole objective is for you to be healthy, you to trickle down your knowledge and wisdom to your family, friends, get them healthy and fit. You know, don't get, don't get caught up in what other people ideologies are or what they thought process. Have fun with the process and keep moving on. That's what I was, see, that's what y'all don't get. I come from a environment or environments from the ghetto, Oakland, California, in prisons where hate was just the norm. Demonic activity was the norm. I was around, I ran gangs and all that where I didn't trust nobody around me. I, I was around killers, stealers, uh, you name it. You know what I mean? The shrewdest people on the earth. So the fitness world, everybody's trying to do something positive. I got in the fitness world. Fitness saved my life. I got in it to become a positive person, even though I've been in it all my life. But at first, when I got in as a kid, it was for sports. Then when I uh, went to prison, it was just for protection, to stay strong, stay uh, ready to uh, uh, fight for your life at any moment. It wasn't, see, when I was in prison, it wasn't for the look of it. It was for strength and to fight off motherfuckers if you got in a riot. And then it evolved to what it is now. You see what I mean? So there's no comparison. And so that's why I love uh, everybody that's in this industry because there's no reason not to. Everybody, I love variety. That's what y'all got to understand. And you have to have a broad mind. You know what I mean? Uh, there's just going to be variety. Everybody will have their different styles. Everybody have a different body structure. Uh, some people are going to get big off low reps. Most will high reps. So there's just some people love strong beer. Some people like one rep. And, you know, uh, it's lovely, man, to have variety like that. And, you know, there's no reason to hate on CrossFit or strong man or dead live let mothers do what they go do and have fun with it love variety that's why you see me doing different stuff muscles pull-ups calisthenic uh football training getting ready for mma just a variety of fun stuff so with that i love those who love me stay positive man 2017 seven is supposed to be a lucky number so you know but i haven't seen you know i see when I live stream, I see a little, you know, people coming in more positive, but the hate and whatever is still there, which I expect, because that's what y'all got to realize. The haters, they're just sent by the devil, and that's how I look at them. It's like demonic individuals just try to come up against us, you know, and if once y'all realize the story of the Bible, 
Jesus was supposed to be perfect and they killed him. So, you know, I realize that I know this and I know my position in this industry. And so I have fun with it and I talk crap back because nobody will bully Kylie Bustle. And I don't want nobody uh, that support me or my fans to get bullied by nobody. You know what I mean? Because like I say, with that 12-year-old girl, that was sad, man. That still affect me to this day. And I've been seeing videos now, and it just rekindled that memory of this girl getting bullied. So let's stay positive. Fitness industry influencers, we got a lot of work, man. And don't stop speaking negative on other individuals and making your fan base think one type of way of some individual. You know what I mean? So just be conscious of what you say. Because these youngsters listening and they, it just, their mind is not built to decipher right from wrong. So I love those who love me. Let's keep it lit, baby. Boom! God, doggy, cut the camera. You talk too much. I'm about to take it before I go to the gym now. I, didn't, I don't think I worked out what I tried the last time. Only one scoop. Hypey Buzz 2.0, take me to another level. Are you ready to get hypey? Let's get hypey, baby! Order yours today at hypeybud.com. Order yours.